Good evening, good people, and welcome to yet another match. The Winter Tournament 2024, Winter Robot Wars Chaos Wing X. I'm Saracen, joined in the booth by Oslodo. How you doing, man? I am doing fantastic. I love seeing two really good racers going up against each other. Lord Fizzle Beef the Master and Jay Shidel the Learner. And you look at what you got in front of you, carbon copy parties. So... Let's go over what we got for Blur Sinks. That fighter, that fighter's got a built-in ribbon. Resist all and plus 10% hit. That thief comes with a plus 20 M def and a plus 15 agility. The red mage, promo sage and heal magic. And our black mage has plus 1 MP to all and heal plus magic. Saracen, what do you think of those Blur Sinks? Um, alright, so... Real talk... The, the only bad blursings that came in this seed were on the black belt. And they weren't bad. They just weren't, you know, that, that oomph. Even the white mage, plus 10 vitality and plus 40 hit points. So, like, everything looked great except for this very boring black belt with plus 25 agility and resist earth and death. Like, who cares about that black belt? We're not seeing him tonight. Not a chance. But this fighter... Oh. This fighter is the dream. <laughs> this fighter is going to do work for our party. This is... That is a fighter that you want to see. Built-in ribbon. Plus 10% hit. And there was... There's just no question that everyone was going to take that fighter. Now we should let the everyone know there's no silly stuff going on tonight. Both runners have no gentlemen's agreements. They have no... Um, no extra flags on. It's just a straight 28 shard hunt. That's, that's what they wanted, so that's what we're going to give you. Now, all right. Real talk, though, there is one thing I'm worried about. What's the that? Red Mage and the Black Mage cannot learn level 8 spells. They're completely full up. That is very, very true. Even with the promo Sage. Oh, and yep. Jay is off. And Fizzle right behind him. So let's take a look at what we got for level 1 magic. Invis 2. In the white. Ooh, both fast yeah. and quadex. Quadex, very solid. Fast, very solid. Blind, actually good in this flag set. <laughs> it, it is. Um, but, you know, the the problem is it's sitting next to quadex. <laughs> and it's also sitting next to stun, which is a power word at a 600 minimum health. I mean... So, all right. Stun versus blind in this flag set is sometimes kind of a toss-up because the blind won't go away true the dark status isn't going to go away they're both power words they are the, indeed the issue is you know any of those pesky skills and spells very very much so so magic looking pretty good so far um we got our first shard and we have a free slab worst check in the game already starting to open up Yep. Everyone loves to see the early slab. Because you know it does absolutely nothing for you until you grind about three other things. Hey, look at these quad X's coming out. <laughs> there they go. Goodbye, Garland. A bridge and some cash. Well, the bridge is pretty good. At least it gives you an option. Yeah, you know, it opens up four more checks. Because otherwise we only had two left. We did. The two chests in our in Dwarf Cave. So I'm not seeing a great selection for weapons, that's for sure. Uh, that Pro Ring, expensive. Cloth plus three. Actually worth considering at that price? I, I mean, it is seven absorb for practically nothing. I would pick one up for sure. For at least my black mage. Meanwhile, Jay is headed off. And Fizzle's going to take on the bridge boss. And vanquished. So our first big divergence. Jay going for dwarves. Fizzle going for Matoya. I understand the logic of this. Um, so, alright. You've got two chests over in dwarf. And no progress beyond it without a canoe. 
and uh, that's a reset back to Canaria. All right, Fizzle finds a canal in Matoyas and a ship. Seafaring starter pack here. That great axe is actually probably going to be useful for that fighter to wield until you find something nice, because weapons were expensive and not great. So what we're seeing from Jay Shadell's check here is, hey, this wasn't great, but um, that was just means to reset and go to the other checks rather than having to try to route it in afterwards and, you know, try to figure your way out from there. Uh, if the magic is good at level two, you could be looking at a trip through the rivers if you get the canoe here, you know? You do, you do. I didn't. White did not look good. Ice three. Uh, white, white looked fantastic if you had a white mage, and this red mage is going to be very full up because there was a cure four, and uh, the white mage would have had the harm four available to them. Yes, yes. <laughs> so those are very solid. Um, black having ice three, very solid as well. Cute. Saber. Love to see the early sweeper. Ninja Learnable Saber is a big call out in chat right now, and that is 100% uh, a thing to be concerned about. Until we see where Temper lands, we have uh, concern. <laughs> we do, especially if Temper, I don't know, rolls up in level 8 where you know you can't get anything. Yeah, that that is the concern. I mean, we have fast, that's great. We do. There's an herb... So, um, the other call-out that I have, just, you know, silly call-outs, uh, Fizzle forgot to take his boat. He left it at the Matoya dock. Well. Whoops. You know, it, 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 we, it happens. He can always go back for it later. No one's gonna steal it. Iron Armor plus five for that fighter. Very solid fizzle That's... that fighter is officially living through everything yeah that fighter is uh tank supreme at this point it is not going to go down to anything save a couple of really bad nuke or nuclears fizzle meanwhile gonna go back and find he parked a ship far away from the uh from the town of provoca but he gets it and away we go So, you know, this is one of those minuscule differences, but this is where Jay Scheidel's decision to go check dwarfs is actually going to, like, be a slight advantage. You know, we're talking, like, 10 seconds, whatever. But, um... Thank you, Fizzle. All right. Fizzle making sure to get the Hooray Dwarf. The, the Silver Bracelet plus 5, honestly, is pretty good. I, I was going to say, that is not a bad pickup. It's great. Ooh! Jay finds. Oh, well, we wanted that. We definitely, we <laughs> definitely wanted that. So, and I would like to uh, give a shout out to Fizzle for not killing the Hurray Dwarf and letting him have his enjoyable fun time. I mean, you and I are on opposite sides of that camp. We are indeed, but we can agree on one thing: if Bubbles is around, Bubbles needs to go. Uh, all right. So Fizzle doing the most Fizzle thing out there. Oh, level Ooh. three now. Fizzle hasn't come. Fizzle's not an Elfland yet. No. He's busy checking out things in uh, in Melmond. All right, this is the most rude uh, of level three shops, isn't it? Because though? because the promo sage is going to be able to pick up those spells, but it's exit and life two, and man. I don't want either of those to be hanging out on the same level as Nuke. No, you do not. But, like, to also have to forestall them until after we find our access... Well, we have access to Bahamut. Um, so I guess you could just go promote and, and learn it. Uh, with the Bahamut doc, we can, you know, just go there. A little awkward decision to, to go after that if you do. Fizzle, meanwhile, doing an early Earth dive... Uh, this seems extremely on brand. It does. Bet yeah. on Earth, ignore Marsh. Just, just go. Jay meanwhile says, nope, betting on Marsh. Fizzle finds a ruby. Ruby is good. Well, it means if he can find his rod, he can go through all of Melman and never have to come back here again. 
and see how much pocket change um, Sarda has today. Coral Sword plus two is pretty good. That's a nice weapon for the thief. Or for the fighter, I guess. Fighter works too. <laughs> so we're about to go up and take a look what's in the marsh attic. So far, very, very different routes our runners are taking. Yeah, but I mean, this is kind of the the story of this tournament in some regards is there are certain bets that people don't want to take and certain bets they do want to take and marsh is one that fizzle has in particular just been like no no thanks and there there have been times where it's been very painful but uh as we're seeing jay getting bup kiss out of the attic Ain't nothing there this is going to give us our first look at what the old titan's holding a katana a shard. The key. Very important. Okay, so Titans uh, Titans is paying off. Yeah, this is looking like a very justified play based on how the seed is going. Um, it there... is, you know, just a slight bit scary getting into an unrunnable encounter with, with Gerwolves when you're level 3 and you don't have any spells. Not at all. Um, let's see if Sarda's going to be another big letdown while Jay finds an Aegis Shield plus six. And yep, Sarda is Fire just stick. Hmm. useless. Just I have this piece of iron I've been shaping for all this time. It's not the rod, it's just an iron staff. We're just taking the old man's cane, alright. Well no, Fizzle gave it back, he reset out. That's true. <laughs> I don't want this. Uh, that was a big that was a, to have to reset. Yeah, but you don't really want to get into a fight with a bunch of, of gerwolves. The unrunnable nature of those gerwolves is the real problem. Funny you should mention right. that. Jay has found an unrunnable set of our bones that apparently is not messing around at all. Well, you know, sometimes you just, you just get dealt a bad hand. You do. Uh... <laughs> Fizzle, meanwhile, looks like he's heading to go see what's in dwarves. I like it. It's uh, it's a good number of chests. We can just get that taken care of. Oh, TNT Spe for Jay. Speaking of which, there's the TNT. Ah, Jay, remembering he's got life casts. Fizzle finds the adamant, so we have lazy dwarves again. Hooray, lazy dwarves. <laughs> the oxyale. Oxy oh, great. Do we hear CCC? Probably not. No. <laughs> no. Not not at this time. And Jay finds another item that's not gonna help us currently. But Fizzle Roost finds day. that's the that root. Suddenly makes that fighter invincible. <laughs> yep, that fighter is untouchable at this point. Barring, like, a full roll nuke into a very bad nuclear, it's not going down. So far, I really like what Fizzle's got going on here. I am worried that Jay is going to chase down that TNT turn in and do so before Earth. Yeah. I think that would be a tremendous waste of time. All right, into the, the TOF locked chests. Number one, a light axe plus three. You slap that on a fighter. That uh, that'll that'll carry you for a good while. Yes, it will. That's a. Oof. All right. Let's see. What we got up in top marsh. Other than the annoying gargoyles, shard, and the crown. I love the crown because we already have the key, and we wanted to check those chests anyway. It's a. It is a great uh it's a great no, proxy Jay. To play. oh Jay, and he no. yep he's gonna go chase it down <laughs> oh dear it's not that bad I it's, know not, it's, it's not it's 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 not 
Well, he came back for his silver plus five, at least. Yeah, again, the silver plus five, very good armor. And thank um, you, thank you, Jay, for once again saying hello to the Hawaii Dwarf. So, it's a Vorpal plus five. Now, there's a sword you love to see. That, you know, and there's the loot. And there's the loot. Side. And the crystal. All right. I mean, I don't hate a crystal. We're right here. No, you're close by. You might as well make the proxy play. But that Vorpal plus five, I mean, you if you have that, you go promo. You promote. So I feel as though Fizzle will not get that Vorpal plus five. No. And he'll be fine with that. He will be. I, um, I, I, I would agree with that. All right. So we're going to promote. Looks that way. I think it looks like they're both our runners heading in that direction. Fizzle has not yet turned in the herb, but he likes to take the southern dock of Elfland when he has ship and canal. Like, just to not be trapped in the inner sea. I, I he don't. Did not turn in the crystal. He did not, and I don't blame him for taking the lower dock. Yeah, it's it's kind of almost a patented fizzle play. He's uh he's made fun of me for remembering that before. Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got his tail, but he also has the key, so he's probably gonna check what's in Elflin's treasury. What do we got? Cash, some cash, Zeus Gauntlet, Zeus Bonk, very good. You you don't you love to see that that uh... <laughs> Fizzle <laughs> just Check. about leaves yep. and he's like, wait a minute, I don't have magic here yet. And finds the nuke, probably very happy to see that. Oh, that's by far his favorite thing to see in this town. But the uh, you know, given that he already has the character named Nuke, um, but. You know, we when we're looking at this, Fizzle, he's just in shards and go, right? Yes, like, he, he knows what he's doing from here on out. And that's just a fantastic place to be. Uh, I did not realize Fade was uh, learnable right away at level four for that red mage. It is. Don't even need to promote first. But uh, now Jay has the promotion and is getting all the spells. I, l I like the idea of getting it as soon as you can. That way you don't have to come back right when you're in go mode for Topher. Yeah, well, especially with Life 2 and Exit, you really want those as early as possible. Uh, change your plus fives here. Ooh. That's that's the Red Mage armor for the rest of the game as far yep. as I'm concerned. Yep. <laughs> pair of gloves, even better. Give him the Pro Cape too. No, give the pro cape to his, uh, to his thief. That's fine, too. Yep, you know, that's, I'm okay with that. All reasonable. Some, uh, some inventory shuffling. Jay gonna check the Crescent Lake Sages. There's very little that excites me about that. But at the same time, I understand wanting to do it before going to Earth. Mm -hmm. Because the only thing that you could really get here that's going to change your decision tree is if you get the canoe. Mm -hmm. And Jay does not need that stress in his life. <laughs> no. A vanilla canoe at this point would not be... Pla oh, there's your rod, but it's 50k, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's... That's, you know, that's a thing that can happen. Um, that, 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 that is. That's a very... That, that, is a, that might... But that might keep Jay away from Earth for a while, which... Yep. Would yeah, you... there's some pocket change, uh, which is kind of going to send Jay to Earth. Um, unless you really want to, you know, go see for whatever reason. Oh, Jay, are you doing what I think you're doing? Uh, we're taking the longest possible route. Oh, we're thinking about it. Yeah, he's not doing No, Okay, Jay, thank you. It's it's not going to be enough. He, he wouldn't get enough from it. Yeah. So the question is, do you go grind? Yeah, he's looking. For, he's looking for a fight for some cash. This is also just levels. Levels at this too, point, which is not bad. But this is not a great. No. I mean, it's nice because you have the in right there, 
but in this flag set this is not great no this is not going to get you um any real cash flow the nicest thing that it will get you is a little bit of safety in your very slow trickle of experience yes and here we see Fizzle going for that promotion, which, great. You know, I, I love to see that. Mm -hmm. um, it just kind of would have been better to get this done before going to Elf, but eh. It's, uh, it's good. It's it's totally yep. fine. Oh, yeah, he's he knows where to get the spells when he needs them. Jay, please. <laughs> so if so... Saracen, let me put it to you. If you're in Jay's position, where would you go to find yourself some quick cash? Um, oh man, that's tricky. Um, so, all right, part of the problem is Jay's only checking one quadrant of Crescent Lake. Yes. There are four overworld encounter quadrants here. Um, or, you know, tiles, rather. And you could find a better one than Bulls and... Trolls. You would like to see peeds. I, I mean, peeds are nice on the XP front, but like giants have money. Yep. All right, pickles and beer saying that this might be the best money fight. Okay, okay. I. The I, old... I just run from trolls and bulls. I don't consider them a real fight unless I'm like absolutely desperate for experience for whatever reason. Well, um, I can tell you from experience, we're not to go get money, and that's don't go fighting T-Rexes. They don't give out near enough money. But we do have Northern Docks on. They could try to look for a pair of sandworms. Yeah, you're... So the desert grinds are all very low value. It turns out lizards don't have pockets and therefore don't have wallets. Oh, I know. I've, I've, I've done this myself, and it's not a fun... It's not a fun... All right. Um, Fizzle, meanwhile, is pounding his way yep. to sea. Looks like he's going to head hit mermaids up first. Uh, probably not going near Kraken anytime in the near distant future. So here's here's my concern. Um, Fizzle is going to get the cash for the rod. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, with with more progress happening. Right? Yes. So there's all these checks. I mean, that was that's a 20 percent of a rod. Yep, right I was going to say he's a fifth of the way uh, there already. So, you know, you take a couple fights and see if you find good ones or you're stuck with an unrunnable pack. Um, you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, now we're seeing Jay. He's he's at 20 K of a target 50. And and it's just a little scary. Uh, yeah, it's it is. It's it's not. Like, I mean, you just saw how much you got for a single troll. It's it's not a lot, and he keeps getting them. So the the concern I have here is, sure, Jay could do this and get the rod a little earlier, and there could theoretically be something important in in uh, post rod lock. You know, in those eight chests, you could theoretically have the canoe and the floater both. Is it likely? No. Um, <laughs> is it? Is it going to make a difference in the run, given, you know, the play patterns that we see from Fizzle? No. <laughs> no, prob probably not. And, and I don't think Fizzle checked anything other than first floor, right? He did. So... He, he found the ruby and immediately noped out. Yeah. So this um, this is going to be a big, big opportunity for Fizzle to just pull ahead. And he found the canoe. Oh, man. You were saying something about pulling ahead? <laughs> yeah, well, you know... This gives him access that... to Volcano if he wants it, and there's a lot of chests in there, a lot of money. This so is... for, for Fizzle's position right now, it is turning into a commanding lead. Yes. And that that's just, you know, how it is. It is. It's it, it's not a... It's just differences of how they route it. And Fizzle... 
barring a major setback, um, is, is pretty much in the driver's seat at this point. And Jay just sold the Vorpal. We'll have a talk to him about it later. But thank you, Fizzle, for, carbonation, yeah. for carbonating bubbles. <laughs> Leaving himself with 34 gold, Jay Scheidel now has. You can't even use off. the in. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. Uh, I'm in. I, I'm. I am in shock. That was a beautiful vorpal that you sold. Hey, look! Now he finds the exps. Yeah. How cute. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you know, take the xp when you can get it. Right. I mean, what? Uh, I know Jay has one shard. I was able to see that on his screen. I am not sure what Fizzle has, but I know it's definitely more than one. Chat asking what the Vorpal rolled. It was plus, plus five. five. Yeah, it was, the, it was the near full, full power. On Vorpal. It, it actually was a sharpened butter knife. Um, yeah, I mean, the real endgame sword, and, and it's now off into the bin. And, and, and it's going to be hard to replace that, too. We, we know that the katana is vanilla. Um, you're really that hoping that the x cow rolls up. Way better. Oh, it would have been a lot better. You're hoping the x cow rolled up. You're really hoping at this point, and that you can find it. Or you're going to chase down the Masa at the, uh, the good old Xbox. I'd be more than happy to see that. There's a cat's claw. No one's buying eh. that. Yeah, that's not a great no. option. Even uh, at a plus three. A slab. Even at a plus three, it's 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 not great. Fizzle, meanwhile, is gonna go see what's on Kraken's side. Danger is what's on Kraken's side, but Fizzle has a ruse stick. <laughs> and he has <laughs> he a fight, and he, and he has a knight that just doesn't care. Yeah, the, this knight is an absolute monster. And, uh, and I love him for it. But you're really hoping that he picks up maybe something else down here. Some kind of weapon he could use. A nice sun sword would be... Ooh, that's an unrunnable pack of not fun. Eh, ice three. The Arsahags have slow, which yeah. is just unfortunate. Yeah, it's just a time They also sink. have under 90 hit points. Which is not... Which is good. Now, Jay, meanwhile, is going to pop his way into Earth. He's going to find the first money chest. Say, no thank you. And... Let's see. So, the other kind of unfortunate thing here is Earth sucks. It does. If you can avoid going through it. And, um, yeah, you know. If Jay dives it in that commitment to the rod, which, you know, you kind of have to, right? Like, yeah. you bet all of your hopes on this... 50,000 gold rod. You sold your Vorpal plus five. You kind of have to chase it. You do. And, uh... Well, look at that. There's that sun <laughs> plus five I was talking about. Wow. That's what you want. Nice weapon. That is what you want to see. I also saw a fizzle screen for a split second. I believe he's about eight or nine shards in. Fizzle, why aren't you taking this fight? <laughs> I... I'm questioning that myself. Are you gonna go fight? Kra Is he gonna go fight Kraken? Like that's pain. Roostick, yes. If you're so gonna fight Kraken. You should have taken that Gershark big eye. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like that, it almost seems like a run away after after this. Maybe use an exit charge if he stopped by and picked up exit. But I don't think he did. I think he grabbed a magic. Oh, there's, well, a, there's ribbon. a ribbon. All right. Um. The, the walking back onto the spike tile tells me that he does not have exit. And it tells me and he's going he's for... going to Kraken. Well, he's got the ruse, and he has the sun sword, and he has that fighter that just isn't... That knight's unstoppable. Meanwhile, I noticed on Jay's screen, he managed to pick an opal plus five out of one of those chests. So his knight is now armored for bear as well. The uh, opal chest plus five? Yes. Oh, baby. And meanwhile, he found I mean, the... that and the Aegis plus six. Yeah. And... Uh, that's a thick night. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, he found that the Earths are unrunnable. And, um, I, and I do believe, I could be wrong about this, but I believe the Elementals do not care about Quadex. Correct. Um, 
so yeah that that's an unfortunate they um they they like nightmares are immune to death effects <laughs> yep and fizzle going swing swing nuke nuke on kraken speed and power you know he does live up to that uh, and that is a very dead ninja that's a very dead ninja that's a very nice he's trying he's got the quad x coming Oh, didn't need it. That is a paper Kraken. Well, nah, it wasn't really paper paper. Like, it had it had some things going on, but the problem was that um, some of the nukes rolled very high. True. That Those were very good nukes, and that would put Fizzle at 15 shards by my count. I, again, I'm very curious about choosing to run from these encounters. At the shard count that we're at, mm -hmm. and, you know, 28 minutes, all right, I know Fizzle likes his, his toe for three grinds. He's talked about that a couple of times. He has. Um, you know, you kind of, you kind of want a little bit of levels, especially since you could be getting charges on your knight and your ninja. Mm -hmm. Granted, he's, he's well below that point right now, but, like, there, there's a lot of room that you have to get yourself ready before doing a Topher grind. Absolutely. Uh, I just granted wanna... he's he's running away from like one of the lowest experience variants of that. Formation. Yes, you, you, you really hate <laughs> you hate to see the jerk birds come up and nothing else. I mean, at least there were two whiz mummies, but uh... yeah. Oh, exiting but out. the reset out makes sense. That yeah. was an absolute dud of a waterfall. Yeah, one shard and a black shirt was all you really got out of that. You'd need none of that. Exactly. I just I just want to say, Luffy, a flame plus five might make it hurt less, but the Vorpal plus five, still a champion. All right, we're turning in that crystal. We're promoted, so whatever it is is going to be usable. I'm saying power bonk. Nope, Opal plus three, which is very usable. Very usable indeed, and that's going on the ninja. That I I expect. I agree with that. I would do that. I've done that myself several times. All right, we have a lot of equipment on the Fizzle's party. I do. All right, what what are we lacking? on Fizzle's side for the checks that Jay has done. So far, my my count is that. the floater. Okay, all right. <laughs> but, um, so the floater doesn't do anything yet. Not for Jay, because he has to go to sea to get his yep. uh, canoe. All right, so so we found one thing after the rod that's worthwhile. However, it's not these flags are very frequently floaterless. Yes, like it's not... That does not put Jay any further ahead than than he was before he found it at this point. Now, that being said, he's going to be on the lookout. But Fizzle could completely fade Earth at this point and never need to worry about a thing. He, and he looks probably to will. not be fading Earth because he just bought the rod. Ooh. <laughs> mm, I think Fizzle tends to bet hard on Earth and the fact that... Um, he was able to just sneak into level one and make progress was very, very heartening to him. And, uh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, there's a ribbon. That's okay. A, another loose ribbon. You're going to take that. Yeah. Th this is looking good. Um, and a chunk. All right. You know, this, this has been a worthwhile enough earth for, but is it, worth the amount of time and the lack of a vorpal that jay's got for the rest of the seed no uh, but it's it's hard <laughs> it it is it is i i mean he the ruby was the big the game changer if he had taken the ruby went there found the oxyale he could have said well screw going back to earth but yeah that, but, but if you, know, you that wasn't yeah. That wasn't the play made no. because he, he was committed to the rod. Nope. He spent the he spent the 50k. He's he's taking it. Meanwhile, there's a lich. Hi, lich. Everyone say hi. Three hits, three damage from this ninja. What is this? Everyone say bye. Bye, lich. I think he's swinging a coral sword. It's a coral sword, too. I don't know if it's minus or plus. It's plus. It's still not helping. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's just it's so sad. The ninja, like, unless you put a real weapon on him. Yeah, I, I, a katana or a rolled up vorpal for that matter. Yeah. All right, Fizzle gonna make all of these wonderful checks through Earth. Well, Jay gonna goes... have a lot easier time going through the uh, unrunnable Earths. Uh, Jay has found the Gur Wolf Unrunnable Pack that Fizzle was always resetting out of. Gets his Flame Sword, gets his Rune Sword, gets his Opal Bonk. Nobody cares about an Opal Bonk. Nope. No one wants that. Okay, Jay now has his Katana. He's probably happy. He's found his key. He's probably a bit happy about that. Not going to be happy to see Sardis Kane. Well, you know, you can't win them all. Uh, no, you can't. Uh, no, you can't. So there's... You're going to say, I want that opal fizzle. That they give iron. Drop that. I'm going to do that. Yep, that all makes sense. Yep, that, that all works. That all... So... Now Fizzle's Nugged is even more of a tank. Yep. Um, the Invincible keeps invincible -ing. And with the ability to learn some really helpful magic like, oh, Cure 4. That... Cure 4, Cure 3. Cure 3. Uh, both on the, the Knight learnable side. Yep, like that. That alone is going to make that Knight just... It's going to be hard to take that thing down. Ninja, shout out to the ninja having nuke and saber and fast all learnable. The but, magic has um, rolled good. We are starting to see the concern. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we've seen all levels one through six. We have. And there has been a stunning lack of temper. And that means we have a 50-50 shot. 50-50 as to whether we can learn temper in this seed. Which... Because of the heal and heal plus blurs. Yeah, that's going to be the real question. Well, I guess the thing is, will either will anyone go looking for it? Well, you know, that is kind of the follow-on question. Like, you're not going to look in the Lafane shop because you know you're just not going to be able to learn it. Yep. Do you bother looking in Gaia? I would hope so, but I think Fizzle just ignored the uh, Unpack shops. Yeah, he totally and, faded those. And it makes sense. Like, you know, <laughs> couldn't afford them, had an uh, objective in mind on cost. You don't really want to buy level 7 magic. Like, No, it's generally speaking expensive, and you never get a lot of charges of it unless you just sit there and power grind. Jay, meanwhile, has found his Oxy Ale and is adamant, which, you know, I'm sure he'll be happy to have, but not as much as the Oxy Ale. And Fizzle is very happy. He's found his floater. Yeah, this is the world opening up a little bit more to Fizzle, who will be able to go to Cardia and get the 13 boxes there. I believe um, you are correct, yes. And the other thing is it opens up much easier access to both volcano and ice places that are mm -hmm. box dense as well i kind of like checking cardia before volcano just because there's you know the possibility of walking out with no encounters yeah absolutely and if you don't like what you see you just reset out and get back on the airship and away you go to the next spot all right jay continues the uh the tour of locked chests Yes, indeed. Well, Fizzle goes and sees what Lich has got in his bedroom. He finds that ribbon. Very happy to see it. And I believe... Come on. I believe Fizzle is one away from 18. So he's at 17, I think. Now at 8... No, sorry. He's at 19. It's a good shard count to be at. Uh, versus the 9 that I saw on Jay's... Or 10 on Jay's he's, screen. Yeah, he's got 10. So, yeah, Fizzle... Definitely uh, in the driver's seat at this point, just on autopilot, speed and power, speed and power. Yeah. So 
a little bit of a concern on my part, and you know, this is where Volcano in particular is probably going to be an interesting play. We don't have the chime or the cube. No, we do not. Neither. <laughs> that is actually pretty rare for this for these flags. Normally, that the chime pops up either in C or relatively early. But Fizzle is out. He gets his two shards for killing something. I don't know what it was. It was there for a second and it's gone. There's Jay getting the Opal plus three bracelet. Very I'm nice. I'm sure he's happy to have it. I would guess that Fizzle's going to be making a run right down to the desert. To pick up his airship and he will be airborne. Airboat, best boat. No, nope. I I can heartily agree with that. So there's part of me that at some point just considers the idea of uh, modifying the airship sprite to make it a canoe with the propellers. I'd be okay with that. I would be okay. I mean, I don't have any artistic talent whatsoever, so not not for me. But by all means, I will. I support your efforts in this. I mean, Fizzle. my efforts are, are very limited. <laughs> There's the power uh, bonk. power bonk. Okay, we, we take those. Okay, so <laughs> does now, does that mean that you kind of don't care about temper as much? Uh, I mean, you still care. <laughs> but like you, I mean, again, you're at the point now where it's, did it, it landed somewhere high. Did it land at eight? That's the worry. So the Black Mage would be able to have a charge of it as a level seven spell, regardless of anything because of the bonus. Correct. The uh, The Red Mage would be a little bit more concerning, but if it was seven, you could learn it. Yes. If it's eight, neither can learn it, and it's a crapshoot. Yep. And that's kind of... on the Night probably is fine. Yep. Um you know, the, the knight is immune to life, so... <laughs> yep. Fizzle coming back here, gonna pick up some extra magic. Jay, meanwhile, is gonna find his canoe momentarily. Along with making up some of the... Uh, oh, look, he, he's also running from the uh, eye and Gershark. shark. Big Eye Gershark is like an XP pinata. Absolutely. I, I have a hard time walking away from that fight. It is, a, it is a hard one to pass up, no question. Fizzle making a check of his level 1 magic to take another stop into Corneria to pick up what he needs. Getting this fast. Not going to bother with Invis 2? I definitely picked that up. And he does. Yep. Good. Okay. That's. I honestly also consider picking up heal too, just to save on potion mashing. If you go into volcano. Yes. So Jay now has his canoe and is. Got to clear the rest yeah. of this place. You never know. But you know, Jay is also in that shard position of, we just need shards and levels and then we can figure things out. Exactly. Thank you, Jay. Now, Thank you, Jay. Now, what I will also say is we are in the the dangerous territory for Fizzle of does speed and power fail him? <laughs> and and does he adapt if it does? Well, Always a dangerous question. It is. My concern at this point is levels. Like, you, you might have that. That knight is going to be very difficult to take down. But it can't do it alone if Chaos decides he really wants to be a, a bit of a jerk tonight. Absolutely. So, and it, and we will point out, as everyone knows, it's a resist. It's not a guarantee. There's a 3 and 256 chance that it goes through no matter what. And x first still takes it off. Sure does. <laughs> I But my, the, uh, yeah. the, the real issue is that 
the rest of the party. Exactly. Right? Like the knight can do a lot of things on its own when it's got a built-in ribbon and you're able to just put on whatever in those slots. However, the knight was not able to learn the life two spell. No. So the knight can pick up cure four and I did fizzle go into provoke it to pick it up. I think he did. I believe he did. Uh, yes. There's your chime. All right. I might, Do we no. get a cube in the next box? No, but no. you get more shards. More shards. He might not need to go to Sky. So even if you just go to Mirage for the Ooh. oh defense sword, very nice. Going to skip the defense sword. He's going right to carry. He's got two shards left. He's done. Although I am uh, disappointed for any of uh, you viewers who've been watching the Winter Tournament for a while now. He did... Uh, have quite a little yelling match at Jay Shidel in chat for holding up the defense sword several times. That that was definitely a, a very emotive fizzle. It was. Um, I uh, I calmed that race, and it was uh, to watch the all caps stop holding up the sword was interesting. I was simply in the chat that day. So, um chat asking about that yeah but at the same time fizzle already has the ruse stick so it's probably okay and question mark and fizzle is now completely buying into the speed and power philosophy he's just gone he will not stop for chests he's going to kill carry and he's going out of here and probably going to grind in topher yeah the the topher three grind has been a favorite for fizzle this entire tournament yep and, uh, you know, if he takes enough levels, he's got a big enough advantage in terms of progression he does. that he can take a while doing that grind. True. He doesn't have to worry. At this point, even a wipe in Topher wouldn't really give Jay much of a boost forward. It'd have to be a bad wipe in Topher. Because he's 13, 14, 14. But he is in go mode now. That is a very speedy go mode. Whew, that is... Probably gonna... I assume we're doing some potion shopping. Yeah, um... Not gonna fizzle his beefs this time around. I wasn't gonna say it, but somebody had to. <laughs> No houses in this shop is a little frustrating. Just, you know? yeah, just, just, just a bit. And he's going to have to go to the inn. <laughs> the realization of, yeah, I actually do need to stop here. <laughs> he'd come back, make a pit stop. Uh, he had one house, so he could theoretically do his grind, use a cast for exit, or walk it out, whatever. Whatever he wants. And then, um, and, and then use the house and go. So at 46.12, Lord Fizzlebeef is in Topher. And immediately finds a worm and dispatches of it quickly. Anyway. I wouldn't mind, hypothetically, taking that worm repeatedly, but it's, it's just too hard. Yeah, it's just... it's. I don't think that that's what he's looking for. He's probably... You're not looking for that either, really. But, I mean, that's some... It's XP. Meanwhile, Jay... It's something to dump Ice 3 charges onto. True. The melee will do melee things. They just tend to be paper thin, so... Yeah, they just don't take enough damage from Ice 3. And here we are. Jay Shidel is going to pull the Kraken. Swing fast. Goodbye, May. Goodbye, Red Wizard. But both the fasts are off, so time to nuke. Yep, yeah, gonna nuke. Probably would have been better off just nuking instead, but you know, we'll do what we can. We will, we will. So swing, swing, swing. I don't think this kraken has much left. A quadax probably finish it off, assuming it lives long enough. It does not. And Jay is through kraken at level. Jay is through kraken, but he's he's got some things to do. Yes. Now, one downside of this uh, this grind is you're going to be walking a lot on Fizzle's side. Yep. You don't have the 
the capacity to do uh, you know hard reset stuff on on the encounter table. You don't have the ability to walk on a spike tile that's worth anything because it's the phantom. Yep. Uh, this was a long walk for that encounter. Jay doing the exact same play that Fizzle did, going right to Waterfall. Oh, and the nachos have toxic. Didn't hit anything. Doesn't matter. No, that's true. Not a not no harm, no foul. Well, it wasn't going to hit that night. Fizzle though, the, with the like gasties. That's you'd like to see that. Yeah, I mean, if you can kill him fast enough. So honestly, any encounter in here is decent experience. I mean, there was that, what, eight pack of bad men that was, I think, twice as much experience as the Gasties and mm -hmm. took about the same amount of time. Zombie party pack. Jay, meanwhile, probably going to go pop in and get his, get himself into the air. So realistically, what we're looking at difference-wise, now that we're converging, is Jay needs to uh, to get his shards and get a couple of levels, and Lord Fizzlebeef is able to take the time that Jay spent on the Crescent Lake grind, instead doing a toe for three grind. Yep. And the results will be obvious very quickly. There's our third ribbon. Sitting on the ferry. Yep. Ooh, there's there's a good pack of four gas D's right there. That's fun to see. Uh, Jay looks like he is going to go down and check what is in Lafayne. So what have we not seen? The X-Cow is still out there. Yep. Yeah. Um, Jay does not have the crown from the looks of it does not so that's no power bonk yeah fizzle walking out the levels hits a jotunheim pack and is like nah yeah I'm like, they're not gonna bother i'm good with fam yeah it's nobody wants to see that x cal plus three it's a good sword it is I... <laughs> but is it worth the walk to lafayne Kind of? Okay, Fizzle... Is he looking for temper, or is he gonna... Looking for temper. He's looking for temper. I don't... Uh-oh. That's That was a bad sign That's, right there. No, that... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. There it is. Yeah, uh, it is locked. Hard resets. Nope, he right is... Back to go for. He, he is annoyed and is leaving this area. Now, Jay heading in the direction of Cardia. Yep, that's where he's landing. Now, the shame of this for well, Jay... Oh, there's the there's cube. The, cube. <laughs> the shame of this for Jay is that Volcano had so many shards in it, it that, did. like, you could just go there and do that and be done, just like Fizzle did. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a little bit extra distraction. Yeah, but this does look like a real dive yep. on Fizzle's side. He's running away running from bad men. We're not using nukes. No, he's this is this is a speed and power dive right now. Get away from the Phantom. It's the first strike on Phantom. That's that's the good feel right there. You love to see that. Jay meanwhile finding some more money. Pure potion, flame armor. Not interested. Yeah. The flame is not bad, but we have better. Yeah. Uh, At this point, he's looking for one thing and one thing only. Shards. Which he finds none of. So hammer plus five, it was trying to be worthwhile. If you took a white mage, it would have been. Eh, no, it's, it's really a bad weapon unless you get the uh, improved Thor blessing oh well you're not gonna all right so jay is going to volcano he will grab his shards meanwhile um, fizzle jay buddy we got to talk about that parking job yeah uh. fizzle meanwhile is going to take a pack of germaduces 
He's trying to ice three it down. And unfortunately, they just decided to live through ice three. They just did the Zeus bunk cleaning it up. Yep. The good chunk of experience. 24, 24. So he's 24 across the board. I'd say that uh, that's probably going to be pretty. With that knight. Now, the question is I don't know how much of his party is a nuke range. The, the answer is they're all kind of susceptible, um, but Fizzle has no respect for Lich. Well, no one has. <laughs> Lich has made me respect him a few times, and it feels bad every time. Well, I believe Fizzle swinging that sun sword means Lich don't have much time, even even after getting a shot off. Which, you know, congratulations to Lich, too. He got a shot off. It's not very common nowadays. Meanwhile, Jay yeah. is going to pop in. He's going to see it. He's going to get his chime and a bunch of chunks. The chunks are the, the true end game here. That, like... Yeah, that's what he needs more than anything. Pick it up, Jay. You know you want that. I believe he will be in go mode. Yep. He's got everything he needs. And Carrie is gone. Yep. Uh, Fizzle steamrolls full speed ahead. Switching a ribbon around. Ooh, but an unrunnable pack of fun. It's okay. We've got fade charges. We've got ice three. We've got that. Was it Zeus bonk? Yep. On the, uh, on the ninja. He does. He does. He does. You know that that'll clear up most of this. Gershark's a little thick. A little thick. Yeah, they're taking a bit of a punch. Ah, uh, Jay is missing a single shard. That's why he is diving deep into Volcano and checking chests. Jay, you could just... Go to Carrie. put your foot on the gas, buddy. <laughs> Carrie's not that big of a threat. And we have Kraken 2. Kraken 2 is a very real threat. However, we do have two life casters. Because, reminder, the Black Wizard has... Uh, heal or heal plus magic? Correct. Heal plus. Yes. So there are three charges of life two on that black mage. Yep. That almost makes up for the lack of temper. No. No. <laughs> I said almost. I didn't say it did. Come on now. Meanwhile, Kraken 2 is just hanging around. There. No, no, that should do it. The quad X will Yep, get that'll it. do it. Yep. All right. Goodbye, Kraken 2. Hello, Tia 2. Now, Kraken 2 did nothing. Carry 2 appeared to do nothing. Lich never does much. So, does Tia have anything interesting? Tia, historically, by dint of having high absorb and yes. the highest health pool of the Fiend refights, mm -hmm. tends to be able to show stuff. That's a little scary without the tempers. Yes. Especially if, the, the, yeah, a tanky Tia is not what you want to see. But let's see what we got here. We got fast, we got fast, we got swing, and we got swing. Gets good turn order. Uh-oh. Dark touch. Dark touch is remarkably bad. Very... But we do have two cure forecasters. And one's coming out right now. Yep. That the katana is the most important weapon we have. Oh, Oof. five hits, five damage. No crits in there at all is real concerning. It is, but the, he has got the heal, the cure four off, so he is back to nuke, 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 quad X, and swing away. Ooh, blaze. Okay, that's something. Not great, not bad. Nothing died. Nope, like nope. <laughs> But the quad X should take care of it. Yep. So, Fizzle on his way to see chaos. That's getting onto the chaos floor at 57, 43, 42, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Now, the question is, what does chaos have? We haven't seen 
anything from anyone except for one cast of Blaze. No nukes, no nuclears, no Cure 4s. Um, it's a lot in the pool. Meanwhile, Jay at, I'll call it 5759, is in Topher as well. And here we go. We're going to fast. We're going to power. We're going to fast. We're going to nuke. All of this makes sense. Wow, Chaos missed his first shot on that ninja. That's That could be a good sign. Power, Ruse, Nuke, and Nuke. Ruse comes out, Nuke comes out. Blizzard, okay, so there's something. Not bad, though. Yeah, you just, you worry the second you see a skill or a spell. Yeah, you don't, you don't like seeing that. Okay, so Dark did land on the ninja again. Because <laughs> that happened. I thought Fizzle had two ribbons. Yeah, uh, he, he, okay. he has one we of... We have three Cure 4 casters. We... I forgot that the Black Mage also he... has Cure 4 because of the heal plus bonus. Ink again. Chaos so far not tipping his hand at all. Ooh, seven hits for 502. You like seeing that. We're going to nuke, we're going to nuke. We're going to wish we could nuke again. Yeah, we can't. We got Ice 3. Ice three is dead. So we're going to swing with that katana. Four hits for 65. Miss on that ninja. Swing. Three hits for 247. The nuke comes out for three, for 290. We're out of nuke charges. Better move on to lock strats. Swing from the ninja. Four hits, 54. Oof. Well, goodbye, Black Wizard. Not that it matters. That's terminated. Get your GGs out and chat for Lord Fizzle Beef, our winner with a race time of 59 minutes and 8 seconds. GGs Fizzle? GGs Fizzle. J Shy, meanwhile, is doing that toe for three grind. Hello. Hello, Fizzle. Oh, Fizzle, there you are. GGs. I, we did it. We got there. We did. We did the thing. You, you did. You, the you thing. did the thing. You did the thing. This seed was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> this seed was this, amazing. This what are you talking? This like this was like the platonic ideal, other than where temper landed. Yes. <laughs> other than that, you guys had great luck. Yeah, that night was practically invincible. Most of the seed. Oh yeah, he had auto ribbon, didn't he? He did. Whoops. He did. Whoopsie. You put the ribbon on the night, I assume. I sure did. You had yeah, the other? I, I, I noticed. We noticed. I wasn't going to call it out. Yeah. I think the other one was on the Red Wizard, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. I moved it over to the Red Wizard halfway through Topher when I remember that the Red Wizard had life too. That's 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 appropriate. Um, not much showing from anything in uh, Temple of Fiends, to be fair. No, I didn't really give anything a chance to do anything. No, you really uh. didn't. Um, <laughs> nothing really survived. Uh, between the level 1 quad X and the level 3 nuke um, and the level 1 fast, um, I was I was really worried about the lack of temper going into that chaos fight. Um, but I, I just hope that all the bad things landed on... Uh, all the other Fiend 2 scripts that I saw none of because I just dumpstered them in like two rounds. You definitely uh, got rid of uh, most of them without any trouble. At all. Which was very impressive to see. Speed and power, maybe. That was definitely a prime example of uh, speed and power. So um, the big divergence between the two, between the two of you was that you went to Earth, grabbed that ruby, and never looked back. Jay went to Crescent and had to grind and then sell his Vorpal, plus five, to afford the rod and then full cleared Earth. We had feelings about that, Fizzle. We did. We had a lot of feelings about that. We did. <laughs> I was... I was the, the, the Vorpal made me very sad. <laughs> I, I, that was a very, very good sword. Jay, meanwhile, 22 across the board. Now we're getting into the Earth floor. So, 
So Fizzle, uh, you said coming out right into the booth that the seed was dumb. Uh, what yeah. was to you the dumbest thing of it? So it was just clownish in its construction, I think, because like, um, out of the gate, like I get the tools for my rodless early earth dive as is tradition. Um, I get down there and I see the ruby and it's like, hang on, I've seen this movie before. I remember how it ends. Ruby leads to the rod. Let's just leave this behind less to go. And then I get the key instead. And it's just like, OK, this is the sequel. Key has to lead to the rod. And then instead it leads to Oxtail and it's like, OK. And then I check Crescent on my way to see because I'm like, all right, maybe the sages have, I don't know, like canoe or something. The shop has rod and it's just like, man, this this is dumb. <laughs> Everything is kind of where like there are things where I kind of expected them to be, but they were all the wrong things. And it just it felt like every dumb play was rewarded, um, especially when uh, coming out of sea. Like, I've got the canoe, and I have... I've finished my sea grind to afford the rod. And it's like, uh... You know, the the sensible thing to do right now would be Volcano. The dumb thing to do would be Earth. Let's do Earth. It's always Earth. <laughs> Until it isn't. No, well, it was today. <laughs> it was definitely today. Um, because I'm this type of person, I decided to go and pull the seed and take a look. Uh, Chaos had no magic... And had only four abilities, three of which were ink. I mean, <laughs> I did have to invest some cure fours in that for that poor ninja, but still, yeah, I was, I I was convinced that it was just like a low chance spell script or something. I don't know. No, it was a complete dud. Um, I will say though, even with that uh, that ninja without dark, that katana was not swinging for good. No, vanilla katana is capital F fine but like sun plus five I think was where it was at it's, especially with no the only like buffing I had was a power gauntlet like it would have taken forever for that katana to have done anything like truly meaningful absolutely but it can do perfectly satisfactory chip damage like it's the chip damage from that is more than enough to cleave through like the fiend two fights and then for chaos just damage over the course of the fight that's not insignificant for his health totals not at all um yeah not expecting him to be the star but like he, he does enough we keep him around you did you did uh, a little disappointed that warmack didn't make his appearance tonight don't know where that chest was i assume it was i probably I'm, in sky uh maybe i if i'd found it late game i might have tried it um, early game, I just had no answers for a Warmex, so I would have bypassed it. Yeah, the early game uh, was a little bit rough. If you are curious, all the bad stuff uh, rolled on Lich 2. Oh. He had double nuke, double nuclear, damage poison, and tornado, and quadex, and bane. Dang. Uh, for me, he had uh, nothing. a melee swipe against the ninja for nothing. Yeah, he has his tradition for Lich too. Well, uh, my co com Saracen has said that Lich has done some things to make him respect him. That would have been it. Yup. That uh, that definitely would not have been what you wanted to see. But um, <laughs> weak, very very weak fiend. Nothing that you really could have written home about. Meanwhile, Jay. Up to his chaos. We know what this chaos has. Let's see what happens. Fast. We're gonna fast. We're gonna fight. We're gonna. No, we're gonna fight. We're gonna ruse. No. Yes. Ruse and defense, both sitting on that knight. <laughs> he had to get the defense. Farewell, black mage. He had to get the defense sword just so he could show it to chaos several times. <laughs> Gonna ruse up again. Gonna swing with that katana. Four hits. Yep, yeah, right there. Four hits for sixty-two. That's kind of what we were seeing. Did he not get the power gauntlet? He did not. He did not. He, he didn't, didn't have the crown. No crown. Oh, well. Yup. And strange enough, no saber. Never went back for it. Yeah, I I could swear I remember seeing it somewhere low level, but. 
I almost never pick up Saber on the Ninja in this flag set. Well, level it, two, I think. I I can confirm that. You give me one quick second. Yes, level two yes, slot one. Level two slot one. Meanwhile, Jay dealing with this pesky chaos with nothing really going on. There you go. Four hits for 208. That's what you want to see. More ink. We know it's there. Here comes a nuke. Swing. One damage from that Hexcal plus three. Yep. Nuke got there. There's the blizzard. The only thing chaos can do. It does nothing. Four hits for 152. Here comes another nuke for 109. Swing with that. Four hits for seven damage. It would have been funny if he killed him with that, but no. Fate comes out. Dollar Store Nuke does 146. Swing six hits for 213 on the x -Cal. Six hits for six damage on, on the uh, Katana. And Dollar Store Nuke does the trick at 136. Get your GGs out in chat for Jay Scheidel, our runner-up at this race with a race time the GG of one hour, eight minutes, and 28 seconds. And GG, we are joined in the booth by Jay Scheidel himself. Jay, GG. He is here, I promise you. Crouching Tiger, muted microphone. Mm. Jay, please. <laughs> there it is. We were waiting for that. Oh, wait a minute. What do we got here? Ah, so he has informed me that his mic is dead. So he is here, but he can't say anything. So I will just say, uh, Jay, thank you for picking up that defense sword. Um, we were hoping to see you use it a few times. Unfortunately, you use the roost stick. It happens. Um, but overall, uh, it was a good race, Jay. Um, I'm sure you're going to want to watch this back and, and see where the routing uh, took you. I'm a bit sad about the Vorpal Plus 5 being sold. Um, still, still not a fan of that. I am. I think it was a great play. I, you, <laughs> I, I knew you'd say that. I know. No, I legitimately, like, legitimately, if you have to come up with a lot of cash fast, like, sometimes those weapons just gotta go. I, I have done it myself. I have. But at the same time, it, it didn't give him enough. I'm looking at the, the Vorpal plus five as that that throwaway, though. I mean, sure, but, like, we we didn't have temper, and Vorpal only really truly shines if you just, like, buff it into low Earth orbit, so, eh. Eve it in a wood Hello? chipper. Get the rod. Hello, hello. There. Hello. Jay, Jay, Jay has joined us. Change oh, USBs, of course. Of course, of course. So it works every time. So now now I can start asking the, the, I, the important questions. I, I think I'm legally required to come in and say that was dumb. Is that is that what I heard? <laughs> <laughs> that, you, you, that There was a mention of that, yes. <laughs> that there, there was definitely a mention of seed be dumb. Seed be dumb. Uh, yeah, it uh, certainly an interesting seed. Um, so you saw the so Earth Cave. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. you, you saw the rod, and you you, you yeah. went all in. Well, last time I didn't do that, it burned me. I'm like, okay, I don't have a ribbon to sell this time. This uh, <laughs> Vorpal is trash until I need it on chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was. Uh, we as soon as we. Saw you hanging outside Crescent taking fights. It's like, yep, he is committed to his Earth Dive. Okay, so I saw the trolls on the first two encounters off of Hard Reset. They're not the best money, but it worked. I knew I needed about 10 battles because the or the Vorpal is going to be about 20,000. So You cut it mighty close on that money. <laughs> when I have like 33 gold left. Yeah, but I know I had a tint up afterwards. I didn't have enough money for the inn. I, I was. You did not have enough for that. No. Math. Oh, that that was luck. That was one hundred and ten percent luck. And by that you mean calculated. Either by that I mean totally calculated. <laughs> I, I mean I was going to sell the Vorpal and see how much money I needed, and I had enough. <laughs> I can't do math. What was 44,000 divided by two? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no math. Probably 50,000. I don't know. 
Yeah, something like that. Yes, uh, we saw that get sold off, and it's like, well, he is committed. We're here. We go. We're going to Earth. I was hoping something was past Rodlock. That was really where I was going. Mm -hmm. I mean, there really was. I mean, yeah, there was. Floater's pretty. Floater's pretty good. Yeah. And so ribbon. you never got floater. I did get floater. So my pa so I went straight straight into Earth, uh, as right. is tradition. Um, got the ruby and was just like, hang on, ruby. I have seen ruby lock rod in the okay. past. Um, saw the key instead and was just like, all right, well maybe this is just like a dumb lock of key or a dumb lock of rod. Um, mm -hmm. Instead, got the oxiel and was like, all right, well I might as well just stop at Crescent on my way through and saw the rod for sale for way too much and was just like, oh, okay, I'm just going to go to sea to get gold for my rod. <laughs> well, then all the gold was in Earth. Oh my God, Earth 2 mm -hmm. had all the gold? Yep. It 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 was very gold dense, that is for sure. Uh, Jay, but I, otherwise, it felt like a really clean seed. Jay, what did you think of the, uh, the initial blur sinks? Uh, they were amazing. That was like the god seed. Fighter had a ribbon for free. The or the thief had extra agility. Sage and then Black Mage gets an extra plus for everything. What? Did you uh, happen to join us in time to hear what Chaos actually had for his program? Yeah, I was I was lurking during that. So nothing. Yeah, you. Uh, I guess this is. I guess this is your redemption seed for the chaos of absolute death and destruction that you had before <laughs> that's fine i couldn't hit for anything though stupid excal yes <laughs> the like where okay where was crown because i did not get power bunk uh crown was crown give me a minute i do have been c i full Both cleared locked. c or was it not Toe flocked. Toe flocked. Head crown. Toe flocked. Okay. Oh, toe flocked. Yeah. I believe it was the was just, upper top chest. I was just like, I knew I had it before I did the rest of Earth Cave. There's not that many places that could have been. <laughs> I, I did key checks, found Oxy, and went, I can go check toe flocked or I can go hit up Oxy and went to see. Which, to be fair, was a good play. Mm hmm. I mean, mostly yeah. trying to not spend way too much time on Topher Locked and on Northwest Castle. Like, I don't mm -hmm. need to go there. There's not that many. I've been trolled one too many times by key locks having both Oxiel and Chime that mm -hmm. I just do a general sweep of them before I kind of take off. Well, like I said, I had Oxy and I knew I had key and loot already. So I'm like, I just needed shards. Mm hmm. Well, all right. Well, looking ahead, Jay, this was your exit from the tournament, but uh, I think this is still a good scene. You put on a good show for us. Hey, uh, are... I will take exiting like this any day. Uh, do you have uh, some parting thoughts on the, the tournament as you make the exit from the lower bracket? I mean, as one of them who helped design it, like I, I love this. I love these flags. I've been I've enjoyed the entire thing. I was in here a little bit longer than I expected to be, so I'm happy with all of it. And if I'm going to lose to someone, thanks, Fizzle. Fizzle, uh, you will find out who your opponent is Sunday night as Bajamano and Herbie B go up against each other 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and then if, if you make it through whichever hurdle comes in your way, you got Edgeworth staring you down in the next round. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, that that does sum up the thoughts. Um, any any thoughts about your potential next opponent? Uh, I'm a kick him butt. Insert name here. <laughs> I I love your enthusiasm. All right. Well, I think uh, I think you know we've covered what I wanted to cover. Azoto, did you have any other questions for the runners? Uh, not really, no. Uh, I know, Jay, I know you wanted to keep it within uh, within 10 minutes. You have succeeded at your goal. Uh, so, hats, yep, barely. Ha, ha, <laughs> hey, you did great. You did good. You did good. Um, I oh, I see you changed it from great to good. Thanks. You, know, you gotta get a slight improvement. <laughs> slight improvement. Let's not, let's, not, let's not push it too far, huh? 
Um, no, you guys put on a very entertaining race. It was great to see uh, speed and power displayed at its utmost. Um, yeah, I, you guys uh, both played a, a great race. It was a, a true learning experience for someone such as myself just to watch uh, two incredibly good runners go through and uh, get what amounts to a beautiful, not exactly jet seed, but a beautiful seed nevertheless. Hey, any finish under an hour in these flags, I consider jet. Totally agree. <laughs> totally agree. Well, I guess with that, we can, uh, we can just do the, the real final thoughts. Uh, Fizzle, our winner, your final thoughts, sir. Uh, I did the thing. I just, uh, I, 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 we, no, I just, brain broken. Did it. Hooray. <laughs> Good job. All right, Jay Shadell, your final thoughts. I mean, fun seed, fun way to go out. Thank you all for putting this together, and yeah, it's been amazing. Oslodo, my co-coms, your final thoughts. Just want to give a shout out to both of our runners, Jay Shidel, Lord Fizzle Beef. Very entertaining seed. Give a big shout out to my fellow Bubble Soda Co. buddy Saracen in the booth helping me out. We uh, we pulled him in last minute. I thought it was just going to be a solo comm. Really happy to share the booth with him once again. And thanks to Danny for doing all the tracking and for rolling this seed. That's right. They're not all bad. I, I like how you said you pulled me in and when I was like, hey, Danny, is there room in the clown's clown car or is it full? <laughs> Never too full for another Bubble Soda Co. runner. Never. Side note, thank you to both runners for carbonating bubbles. And okay. We do appreciate that here. We always do. Begrudgingly. <laughs> she kind of forced the issue. She always she, does. In the way. We don't care how I it mean, gets done, just as long as it gets exactly. done. Exactly. <laughs> well... Like uh, Oslodo said, this has been a fabulous race to do comms for. Uh, always love coming for my good buddies in the community. And jumping in when I can. Um, if you like what you saw and you're not yet part of the community, go ahead and hit the uh, Discord link that I'm sure will pop up in chat very soon. And, uh, you know, check out the randomizer. Check out the community. Give yourself the spectator role if you want to get notifications whenever we're going live with another one of these races. And if you are interested in learning the randomizer, not long after this tournament, we are just over a month away from the start of our next Duck Boot Camp where me and Luffy DV teach you the ropes, how to uh, get into the racing, get into this randomizer, learn how to beat all the pros. And uh, that's going to be starting the last week of March. Runs six weeks. We do two classes a week. And then there is a five-week tournament we call the Duck Derby that follows on. That is just for our new runners who are going to be able to go up against each other get that introduction to the tournament racing and uh, see how they like it. Get your feet wet and get that duckling roll on as well. And with that, I do want to shout out Oslodo doing both comms and restream here. Danny for tracking our runners, Lord Fizzlebeef and Jay Shidel. And uh, with that, I've been Saracen. You all have a fabulous evening.